From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night with big breaking news across the board and a night like no other. As we see more details on that earnings recession, more companies expected to miss this week and which will miss and which will beat. Big week upon us. We'll have the latest detail on what we're looking on Friday. And certainly on Thursday, last Thursday revealed a recession and labor numbers out of control. What will we see on those labor numbers this week of my projection as we surge the highest level of new unemployment claims of 2022 last week? But great news on another front as your benefits are going up a lot. How much? About $5,000. I'll have the big news tonight on what you need to know for those big lift of your benefits. Plus, new housing data came in minutes ago, a shocker, as we've had lots of confusing data left and right. But the great news is that there's a force of a check in every U.S. state. And tonight's recording will go over those big checks. How one viewer got 80 of these checks, $100,000 you qualified. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And later in this recording, we'll go over the latest details you need to know about these big checks. They became law in the month of March, and one viewer tonight, you're going to meet they got 80 of these checks across the land. We have a lot of money to go over tonight. We'll have the latest details on why the gasoline story gets very confusing tonight. As OPEC Plus meets in less than 24 hours, we have the latest details on what happened with that housing market today. As a new number was released, it was not particularly good. And then the bond market turning left and right. I'll explain what's going on there as well. Plus, we'll be looking at why housing is not the only indication of a recession. The latest housing data, not particularly good, and continue to weaken. Plus, going into last weekend, we had big numbers on that inflationary front. As inflation continued to surge, and that's good news for your benefits. Because remember, as inflation goes higher, your benefits go higher. We're less than nine days away to learn how much your benefits are going to go up the biggest of a generation. This week, a lot of things coming on on hand. We're going to have that Thursday numbers for the job list claims. Friday, the job payroll numbers, showing how many jobs are created for this economy. Tomorrow and the day after, we have numbers on that earnings recession, more corporate earnings coming in, and we have other data coming as well. Tonight, it's a major night as we go over the economy, the recession, your inflation, it's evenings, LA, your benefits lift, the housing market, unemployment, and for stimulus. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's evenings, LA, and the breaking news starts right here, right now, for August 1st, 2020. I hope you're having a beautiful night. It's a big week, and the week is just getting started. We'll have a lot of major data this week, and the data comes in particularly strong starting tomorrow. How the latest details of more quarter earnings coming in tomorrow, and this corporate will give big guidance on where this economy is going and where it's headed. Uh, the latest guidance tonight and why OPEC Plus is meeting on Wednesday is so important for inflation. Plus, we'll be looking at the latest details on those labor numbers. Are they going to be particularly worse on Thursday? And then the raise of your benefits, plus that fifth fourth stimulus check in every U.S. state. Go out in this video, become a member, and stay the second half as we go over these incredible checks that viewers are getting. And one viewer you're going to meet, she got 80 of these incredible checks. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, and welcome to the, all the new members that have joined in the last 24 hours. Tonight, a lot of major developing details, and we start, of course, with the earnings recession. The earnings recession is an indication of where this economy is and where it's going, and tomorrow we'll get more indication across the board. So far, social media has missed Snap, Twitter, Alphabet, and Microsoft miss in the technology front, and then what happened by the end of the week was actually quite interesting going into the weekend. Tomorrow, more corporate earnings. We have Caterpillar we're recording after the close on Tuesday, August 2nd, JetBlue and Starbucks as well. Then on Wednesday, Yum! Brands, the parent company of a lot of your favorite fast food companies, and Brookings Holdings report corporate earnings. Remember, if they're missing on revenue, top, and net profit, bottom income, 
then they're feeling the pressure of a recession. But it's very interesting because so far, we've not had a very consistent market. Going into the weekend, three companies reported, if you missed them, Roku, Amazon, and Apple, along with actually a fourth, Intel. We had seen technology miss on top and bottom all last week. So we assumed that Apple was going to be a miss, and we expected Amazon to be a miss because Walmart had given guidance that their corporate earnings coming in late August are going to be a major miss and retail has been missing. But ironically, it wasn't consistent. As Apple beat, Amazon beat, Roku beat. So there you go, not particularly consistent. And then Intel earnings were released after the bell on Friday, dropped 22% year to date and missed consensus by 14%. Wow, we'll have more about this later in tonight's recording. But we start also with a major news story, which is the housing market that has been particularly weak and continues to weaken, got weaker overnight. The latest details on the housing market are not particularly robust, and they're not a surprise, because it was no less than two weeks ago that we saw three benchmarks be released, and all those three benchmarks were misses. The builder confidence was a miss, then the day after the new home sales was a miss, and then the day after the existing home sales was a miss. So what's the breaking news tonight for August 1st, 2022? Actually, fascinating news. One data point is predictable, and the other one is really shocking. <laughs> Let's go over what's going on. The housing prices are cooling off dramatically, as we now learn from Black Knight, that's actually a tool, a mortgage software, that has been tracking this since the 1970s, it shows that the annual rate of appreciation of real estate has settled down dramatically. It's now raising, it's now lifting at 17.3% year to date compared to 19.3%. So take away, the market is still up, but it's softening really quickly. This is in fact 25% of US markets showed a growth of, of three percentage points in June with Ford decelerating four more points in that percentage points in the same month, says Ben Grabowski, president of Black Knight. Housing is softening very quickly. And that, my friends, is why you have to get a force almost check in every U.S. state. When we look at housing, it's one of the major industries that it gives us an indication of where this economy is going and where it's heading. And with that housing data, it's particularly not heading well. Housing prices are falling, demand is falling, and now the price increase is falling as well. But if you miss that big shocker, it's totally unexplainable. It came in on uh, over the weekend. The mortgage rates fell improved dramatically between Wednesday and Thursday last week. Make sense? No. Mortgage applications are down 20%, down to their lowest levels of 20 years because no one can afford a mortgage at 6%. You just can't. It was 3% a year ago. So what happened? Between Wednesday and Thursday last week, it fell going into Wednesday from 6% to 5.5%. And then between Wednesday and Thursday, it fell a quarter of a percentage point in 24 hours. A lot of people are pivoting, and the mortgage sellers are definitely pivoting as well. One of the things you should be pivoting on, well, is gasoline. Gasoline tonight, we learn a lot about what's going to be happening in the next 24 hours. What is gasoline going to go through in the next 24 hours? In the next 24 to 45 hours, the gasoline will go under a major question mark, and that question mark comes... From OPEC Plus. OPEC Plus, those illustrious people that determine production of gasoline for those OPEC Plus countries, meet on Wednesday. They will decide whether to increase production, keep the production, or decrease the production. This is critical for you, even if you don't drive a car. Because as gasoline prices go up, inflation goes up, and so does your benefits. So we will be talking this, tracking this data on Wednesday. This is again OPEC Plus. International price of Brent crude is treading up across the board. Recession is upon us. We have arrived at a recession. Two negative quarters of GDP growth have been posted by this economy, and that recession is not a surprise because I was the first American reporter to report that we're going into the recession. I reported that nearly several months ago. I reported it back in the month of February. And that recession was confirmed as two negative quarters of GDP growth were posted by this economy in data release last Thursday. But tonight we see a big shocker. We expect the White House to pivot away from the word recession, run like it's a bad pair of a lobster shorts, run like it's the waveable check not waving back at you. But we did not expect the Federal Reserve to run from the word recession, and boy, if you've not practiced raising your eyebrow, uh, 
do it right now. <laughs> Get it ready. Because it's time to raise your eyebrow. Because this comment is ridiculousness. Minnesota, Minneapolis Federal Reserve President Neil Kashari, when interviewed about the subject matter of this economy, was asked, are we in a recession or not? What do you think? He says, whether we're technically in a recession or not doesn't change my analysis. He hasn't been the same way since he hasn't had a sticker. <laughs> He hasn't been the same way since he stopped having his Snickers. Uh, I don't know why he's so feisty. I'm focused on the inflation data. I'm focused on wage data. And for inflation continues to surprise us to the upside, wages continue to grow as well. Interesting. First, he's not focused on recession, so he doesn't care if he's getting a recession. Isn't that so kind of him? <laughs> Number two, he says he's focused on inflation, which is tracking to the high side. He's correct. And he's focusing on wages going up, which is not particularly correct at all. This last Thursday, we saw that you don't have wages if you're laid off. And unemployment has surged to the worst levels of 2022. And what are we going to see on that number on Thursday? On Thursday, we're going to see whether those unemployment claims surge higher. Let's recap where that unemployment is tonight. Because this is big news. This is impacting your stimulus, impacting everything else across the board. Unemployment. Unemployment claims. New unemployment claims were at 146,000 back in the month of April. Moved up to 180, then went to 200 no less than a month ago. I said it was going to go to 230. It did. 230, 230, 235, then 240. A week ago, it went to 251,000, and I said it's going to go to 260. It went to 260,000. And with that, the labor market is softening. Softening very dramatically. How bad is this number? 260,000 is the worst number of 2022. So is 251. I'm projecting this Friday's, this Thursday's number to go to 260 again. Last week was assessed downward at 255. So it's a little bit off of that 260. This, my friends, is why you have to get a force to must check in every U.S. state. There is no FPUC. There is no PUA. There is no PEUC. This is why this channel works. Go into this video, become a member, and stay the second half as we go over these credible checks you need because tonight we are in a recession. We'll go over all that more about that recession in just a second. But going into the weekend, we had another number that was released, and that number was a shocker. That number was the PCEI. Why is that number so important? Because it's an inflation benchmark, and the best inflation benchmark, that's released between the CPIs. The CPIs are released once a month, and the next one is coming on around August 10th, so we're two weeks out. But to determine where inflation's going and how much your benefits are lifted up, then we have that PCEI. Let me explain the great details first before we go into the backstory. The great details first is that your benefits are going up a lot, an enormous amount, the biggest of a generation, the biggest of your lifetime. How much? About $5,000. We'll explain the details of how it calculates in first a second. But first, I want to tell you why they're going up. The answer is simple. Inflation. Inflation is at its highest levels of a generation, and we've known that since the month of June. But the question is whether that inflation has peaked and is finally coming back down. Tonight, we know more about this. Let's go back to the month of June. On June 13th, July 13th, we had the June CPI released. And what did that show? Let's look at the data. In the month of May, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, engages inflation was 8.6%. Then on July 13th, we had the June number released. 9.1% ouch through the roof. When they're expecting a read of 8.6%, 8.8%. This is great for your benefits because as inflation goes up, your benefits continue to go up as well. What happened the day after? After that CPI posted the highest number since 1981, then the day after, the producer price index on Thursday, July 14th, was released, and that gauges producers' products, the wholesalers' products, and that is the second highest reported on the history of this channel, 11.3% compared to the year ago, off the record of 11.6%. The day after that, the Friday number was the retail sales, and that number came in at 1%, meaning that the products went up 1% in just one month, not that you're spending more money because you have it, you're spending more money because you got to live and yet that product is more money. So this is big news for your benefits. Why? Because we're looking at inflation to determine how high inflation is and whether inflation has peaked. Well, the latest details tonight is that inflation 
has not peaked. As a Fed governor from Minneapolis said, inflation has not peaked. He's absolutely correct. How do we know that? Between every month that the CPI is released, the next one is in about 10 days from now, nine days from now, August 10th, we have another inflationary benchmark release, the most reliable there is, the PCEI, the Personal Income Expenditure, Personal Consumption Expenditure Price Index. And it was released last Friday. And what did it show? It shows that inflation has not peaked. It increased at 6.9%. At uh, 6.8%, the biggest 12-month move since January of 1982, out of control. It basically shows that inflation is not peaked, it's still going up. It means that your benefits are going up a lot. Congratulations. This is the largest number we've seen in nearly 40 years, and this is the preferred benchmark for gauging inflation by the Federal Reserve. Now, let's go to why your benefits are going up. Your benefits are going up astronomically. You don't need SS300 because this is SS500 potentially. You don't need swapping cola for inflation because we are locking in inflation. You don't need fist stimulus because this is the reality. You don't need a bill. This is happening. And the issue is that we need to watch two more months of data after we get that August data, that, ju uh, that June data released in just a few days from now. Let's go over now what's at issue. Your benefits are going up. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rare Old Benefits, Veterans Benefits, how much? About $5,000. I'll show you the calculation in a, section, in a second. Why? Because inflation has not settled down. Which months make the difference? The determining months are the month of July released in the month of August, the month of August released in the month of September, and the month of September released in the month of October. All right, now let's go over the calculation. You want to stand up and celebrate right now. You want to celebrate because you are going to get the largest lift of your benefits of your lifetime. It's a reality. The question mark is how big a lift. Let's go over the calculation right now. First, you, yes, you. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rare old benefits, veterans benefits, or about to go on benefits, it's all for you. If you're on multiple benefits, it's still for you. Number two. Automatic? Absolutely automatic. Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. However you get your benefits checks, this is how it's happening. Number three, everyone's benefits are going up? Astral, absolutely. Everyone's benefits are going up 5,000? No. Some of you will go up more than 5,000. Some of you go up less than 5,000. And the same percentage? Yes. Everyone's going up the same percentage. That's the law. So let's go over what you and I need to track. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, C-O-L-A, Cost of Living Adjustment. It's determined by three data points. The CPI-W, a subsection of the CPI, released for the month of July in August. Yes, that's the one coming in just nine days from now. The, the August number released in the month of September, and then the September number released in the month of October. If that CPI-W is where we saw the June number released on July 13th, is where it is, or higher, you're in a great circumstance because then your benefits are going up, the biggest of a generation, the same or higher. But tonight we have more great news about this. Why? Because that PCEI that's released in between the CPIs, which are once a month, gauges what happened last month and shows that inflation is still going up. Astronomically incredible. As one great view, two great viewers, Lynn Glenn and Diane said, when do we know definitively what percentage our benefits are going to go up? You would normally say you would have to wait the three months out. July and August, August and September, September and October. You have to wait the three months out. But if you see this robust, higher tracking, not yet peaking inflation halfway through, you could probably pencil in this incredible lift of your benefits across the board. And this, my friends, is why you want to become a member. And this, my friends, is why you want to get that force to most check in every U.S. state. The membership newsletter on this channel features all this analysis for you to understand where your money is and where it's going, how your benefits are going up and why they're going up. We'll go over more about that in just a second. But understand, you deserve a force to most check in every U.S. state. It's here. I'm going to go over those four stimulus checks starting right now. Did you become a member? Go right in this video and become a member and get those incredible checks across the land. What are they? 
They were done by executive actions from Joseph Biden in the month of March, and you qualify. Single individual, 75000 less, go get it. Married couple, 150000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, if you're young, if you're old, if you have children, if you don't have children, go get these big checks. There are no other checks. These are the only four stimulus checks that are going to exist this summer. You get these checks, as other viewers have been getting them since the month of March. And a second, you're going to meet one viewer who got 80 of these checks. That's eight zero in recent days. How much? An astronomical amount of money. These four stimulus checks, a series of different checks, are in every U.S. state. They're federal stimulus, and they're about $100,000. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in just a second in the big second half of this video. For you now, you become a member, and I'll see you in the second half when I go over those incredible checks. But don't leave me just yet. <laughs> I said that incorrectly. I'll see you later. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, we will go over this in the second. <laughs> that was so silly. like, I'll, I'll see you after the after the entree. No, 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 no. You stay here. <laughs> we got a lot still to go over. One of the benefits of being a member is the incredible newsletter. And in that incredible newsletter is this, the worksheets. The worksheets are down around the fourth line of the membership newsletter. And the worksheets are, of course, only for allied members. You're not going to see this anywhere else. This is why this channel is on fire. This is why this channel is expanding so quickly. There is no other newsletter among financial broadcast channels, and there is no other worksheets among financial news channels. So let's look at this incredible worksheets. These worksheets are a PDF down around the fourth line of the newsletter. You can print it out for your cell phone or down or print it out from your computer or open it and, and follow along. The first page of the worksheets, we have a lot to update tonight on inflation. We see that inflation has not peaked. Inflation is still going up based upon that personal consumption expenditure index released on Friday. We'll have the definitive inflationary number that CPI-W on August 10th. But so far, it's looking great that your benefits are going up a lot. And of course, we had that Fed president, Fred Governor from Minneapolis saying inflation has not peaked in those comments to face the nation yesterday. Recession. We are in a recession. Two negative quarters of GDP growth have been posted by this economy. That qualifies by definition of a recession. In the second half of this video, I'll go over more about the recession and the response to it. Number three, labor. What do we learn tonight about labor? Labor is going to track higher. Unemployment claims are going up. Why? There's layoffs, there's hiring freezes, and companies are tightening their belt as their revenues and their profits are shrinking. They tighten their belt by laying people off. Jobless claims are expecting to go back to 260 is my projections for Thursday. Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve raised those interest rates at 75 basis points last Wednesday, but they're gone for the month of August. They don't meet in the month of August. So when they return in September, what are they going to do? I'm projecting another 75. I'm in the minority. Only 30% of analysts believe it's going to be that. The, rem the remainder, the majority, believe it's only going to be 50 basis points. The next page of the worksheets is the one that viewers are winning with. And here it is. This is a wonderful table for you to take notes on when you applied for a check, what day, who you applied with, what's their name and contact information, or when you got paid, what month you got paid. One viewer is taking notes on it, put it all on the, on the worksheet, but she forgot to look at the worksheet. And then she got that phone call, that email, I should say. She got that email, not last Thursday, but the Thursday before that, and it said, ma'am, You've been approved. Congratulations. What'd you get approved for? Check B. Wow, that's great news. It gets better. The email indicated to her she got her mortgage paid for. Even better. She got her mortgage paid for for 18 months. <laughs> yes, she got 18 checks just to start from this channel as becoming a member. But it gets better. She didn't just get she didn't just get her mortgage paid for. She got all her utilities. So four utilities approximately plus a mortgage, that's five checks per month, 18 months, 18 times five checks a month, you could do the math. That is, my friends, 80 to 100 checks she got because she's a member. That's why this channel works. This is why you work. We are winning, and we've been doing this for a very long time, and we continue to win. Post your success story in the live chat. Send it to me on private message on Facebook. I'll feature on this channel because you inspire other people to do the same greatness as well. Another viewer sent a great message, and his name is Spelling. He got approved from check A and check C. His great message was he was taking, he was using the worksheets, and 
he applied with check A, but they said that he didn't cross his T and dot his I the right way for them. He said, you know, some people could get frustrated with that. He did not. He stayed with it. He said, stay with it. Stay with it. Because sometimes someone will say you didn't cross your T or dot your I, or as I say, dot your I and cross your T. <laughs> and then suddenly you fix it. And he got approved. Congratulations to Spelly as well. The next page that I worksheet is Fistimus, your raise of your benefits. We're looking at that inflation. We're looking at inflation. And later in this recording, in the second half, I have new numbers about inflation. They're from manufacturing. We'll go over why that inflation is so important for your benefits and certainly for gasoline. I have more about that coming up later tonight. In fact, the gasoline's coming up right now. Your gasoline is part of those worksheets along with student loan debt forgiveness. The president has retested for COVID, and I've always condemned the president will sign the student loan debt forgiveness of $10,000 for all individuals who make $150,000 or less with a full orchestra of congressional supporters around him. But he can't do that if he is retested for positive, retested positive for COVID. So that could get delayed. We'll see what happens. Finally, gasoline. Gasoline tonight is very confusing. Let me tell you what's going off gasoline. First, the president's only policy has been one that he released 1 million barrels of gasoline per day for six months. That six months is almost up from the U.S. Strategic Reserves. It's not a policy that works. It never has worked. Second, the number of gasoline barrels missing per day is 3.5 million barrels. Number three, gasoline traders, or oil traders, I should say, trade up gasoline and trade it down based upon factors like lockdown, and recession. Remember when Japan was on lockdown, when China was on lockdown? They traded it up, they traded it down. Tonight, we have two different numbers. Tonight, we have the international price of Brent crude going back up. We have the U.S. domestic unleaded continually dropping 20 cents per day. It's currently tonight below the level at which Putin invaded Ukraine. The international price of Brent crude is right above it at the moment. What's going on? What's going on is as the oil traders believe that a recession has arrived and that that will stunt demand, meaning that they believe if you're in a recession, you lose your job, you drive less, you spend less money. They believe the demand for gasoline will be less there. That's why they're trading it down. The White House's message even this last weekend was that the reason why gasoline is down is because of the president's policies. Untrue. Finally, in the big second half of this video, we're going to go over the recession, what it means for your money, what recession really is, and what it's not. It's very important, and it's one of the most important things you will learn this week. We'll also go over bear market or bull market. It's confusing. The view of certain stocks are actually turned for the positive, really positive, across the board. Step one, go on to this video, join this channel. Step two, become a member. And step three, stay the second half as we go over all these incredible checks from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a big night and a big week that's just getting started. We have more data coming out all this week, and I hope you stay with me throughout the night. We'll be back with you in the big second half as we go over all these incredible checks. Take note, get ready to pull out your newsletter, follow along because there's a lot of money and a lot of opportunities. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, and I'll see you in the big second half as America's most watched show in prime time. For Financial News continues, it's evenings. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. Home LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m.
Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on Alley Light. And a big week continues tonight on Evenings LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you have a beautiful night. Big news across the board. Tonight we're going over the latest on the economy, the recession, your inflation, and your benefit raise. Why the housing market softens and unemployment's going worse. Four stimulus coming up in the big second half. And this, my friends, is LLA. Tonight we learn a lot of details about those recessionary issues. And also we learn a lot tonight about your four stimulus check. In every U.S. state, back in the month of March, the President of the United States did a series of executive actions. It was perfect timing, because at the time, the viewer said, L.A., can you find me a force to must check? And I looked high and low, and I found it. I had a dual mandate for myself, focus for you, number one. I wanted to make sure that I find big checks for you, lots of checks, lots of money, big sums of money, because I knew at the time that we have a recession coming on, and I care about you. I want to make sure you have big sums of money to survive this recession. And I found them. Number two, I wanted broad eligibility to ensure that you can qualify. And I found that as well. Single individual, 75000 less, go get it. Married couple, 150000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it as well. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member under this video. And now let's go over all those incredible checks one at a time. How do you get these checks? You open the membership newsletter. We're going to go over the checks. We're going to go over the membership newsletter. And we're going to go over how to apply for these checks through the membership newsletter starting right now. These series of checks I gave in lettering system two. The first check is <laughs> check A. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you rent, if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get this incredible check? You know the routine. Let's look at this great check starting right now. $6,500 to $12,000. And it's absolutely incredible. This is the check that Spelly got. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, go into the video and join the channel. Become a member of the Purple Power community. Welcome to the hundreds of new members that joined in the last 24 hours. The biggest membership surge in many, many months. Why? Because a recession's arrived. Members need stimulus checks, and that's why people are coming over here in record numbers. We knew it was gonna happen. Plus, I wanna congratulate all, not only the new members, but also the existing members, and also the existing members who upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power in the last 24 hours. So for that check, hey, how do you do it? Step one, go run it in the video and join the channel. Then go down in the membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, to where you see check A, click the link, it sends you into the nationwide website. Then choose your state and then choose the weatherizing grant. So simple. We're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. This is the check that yielded 80 to 100 checks to that wonderful member from Florida. Fifteen eighty thousand dollars. A four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, seventy five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less. Go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? You know the routine. Step one: subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Number two: go into the video and join the channel. Become a member. Then go down to see check B. Click the link. It sends you right into the membership. Goes right into the check B application from the membership newsletter. Then you choose your state and you pounce. Look how many checks we've got already. That is $12,000 right there. This is $80,000. That's $100,000 we've covered. But we're not done there yet. We're going to go get check C. Check C is wonderful. Countless viewers are averaging about $45,000. A lot have gotten over $150,000. Many have gotten $2,000 a month over 12 months MSC. This is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. How do you get it? You know the routine. Step one, subscribe. Step two, join the channel and become a member. Then go down that membership newsletter. Do you see check C? It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. The success stories of Check C date back to the earliest days of this channel because we've been getting these sums of money for a long time. Want to see some of those success stories? Just a sample of them. Here we go. Niecy, Richard, Nancy, Mark, Elizabeth, up to $30,000. For rent, go get Check C. Angela, Mark, Nancy. For utilities, Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. Go get Check C. The same brother-in-law got is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. And then combinations of checks, one or more, two or more checks. Nisu is at twenty-three thousand. She went to fifty thousand. 
Mark was at 32,000. He went to 166,000. He went from 32 to this graphic, 50. Then he went to 100,000. Then he went to 166. And Lorraine, here she is. She went from 105 to 155. What is the commonality among Lorraine, Johnny, Nisi, Margaret, and Mark? Two things. One, they are in all the live chats. You need to know where this economy is at a given day. You need to know what's going on with inflation, what's going on with recession. You need to know where your money is and the value of it. And you can't miss a recording. You can't disappear for five days and say, what I miss? Uh, did you miss the entire economy imploded? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that's going to happen, but you can't miss anything. That's what they're on top of it. They're on top of the news. You need to be in all the live chats. Number two, they keep on getting checks. Margaret Mech with her utility company, she sent me a beautiful message just a few days ago. She had got some more checks. Every check lines up. So let's recap what you need to do. Step one, going in this video, subscribe. You're watching LLA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America gauging and rushing and pushing for number two you see the change has already come to this channel first la light live which was started originally as a test show for two hours then went to eight hours is now a 24 7 show with now tonight two tickers did you see the excitement everyone's very excited about it la light live is 24 7 on this channel with the feed being updated throughout the day and throughout the night and of course the quotes and all that as well Number two, LA.com, the website that started nearly 20 years ago, has been revamped with the latest updates on your money. Third, two new channels coming to this family in just days, LA2 and LA3. Finally, if you have a suggestion, send it to me on Facebook, Insta, uh, private message. One viewer overnight said, I want those crypto shows back. I really miss them. You're very good at them. I appreciate them, so I will bring them back. I appreciate your suggestions. Number one, subscribe. Number two, go into this video and hit that join the button. Join the channel. Become a member and get this money. Become sophisticated. Learn about this economy. It's all in the membership newsletter. Welcome to the hundreds of new members overnight. I bless you from joining this channel and keep it positive. Keep on motivating other people. If you have a success story, post in the live chat. Send it to me on private message. Number three, there's a little bell at the front of this channel. Hit that bell so you make sure all your notifications set to all on. And finally, get ready for the latest details on that newsletter. You want to go through the newsletter together with me? Let's do it right now. That LA newsletter is so simple. Let's go over what it looks like. First, it's delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Remember your time zone. So if you are West Coast like me, it's 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. If you're East Coast, it's 10 o'clock. It's absolutely right on the money, right exactly at the time schedule. If you're Midwest Central Standard Time, it may be 9 Next, it's delivered via the YouTube alerts. What does a YouTube alert look like? Here it is. This is one that comes from email. Look at the title of the alert for members only, New LA Post. Look at the time, 7 o'clock, Pacific Standard Time. Look at who sent it, YouTube. Look at the first line of the content. It says, membership newsletter today. Look at the four mailbox emojis. This is the YouTube alert written by me of that night's newsletter. Let's go into the alert together. Go down in the alert. Here it is. See, it says there, membership newsletter. Go lower in that alert. Lower, lower, lower. Press the guy with the surfboard. Till it says the button, view post. Click the button, and it sends you right into the membership newsletter. And you are ready for financial freedom. God bless you. So excited for you. So excited across the board. And you are done. And here is the membership newsletter tonight. Tonight on LA, there is so much breaking news on this economy, the recession, the inflation, also your benefit lift, and also the housing market. Labor softening for stimulus growing, and the biggest big details tonight is that it's very hard for one person, you or anyone else, to gauge what sentiments will be about a recession. Back no less than February this year, I was the only financial broadcaster to report that U.S. economy is going to recession. At the time, people thought I was crazy. The first bank to announce a recession was Deutsche Bank months later in April. Imagine, I announced a recession in February. Then what happened thereafter was once the second quarter of this year ended, June 30th, on July 1st, a live tracking tool called the Atlanta Fed GDP Now that has a 30-year track record perfect track record, announced the second quarter of this year's GDP was negative. 
A recession has only one definition. It's an economic term, a recession. It's an economic term, and it has only one definition. Two consecutive negative quarters of negative GDP growth. GDP is the gross national product. It's released by the Department of Labor. Two consecutive quarters means six months in a row. And that announcement only comes for GDP growth every quarter. And we knew the announcement was coming this last Thursday. So you and I knew going into last Thursday that the Department of Labor was going to announce the second quarter was a negative quarter of negative GDP growth. We all knew it because we had the Atlanta Fed data weeks earlier. And yet going into that announcement that night, there were some analysts appearing on broadcast media saying they believed that the second quarter was positive GDP growth. I question where they even got their data from. And we now know tonight that basically what they were doing was trying to hope it was positive when there was no data suggesting it was positive. That's an easy story to report. The hardest story to report is what's going on with analysts, banks, and even the White House tonight. And you saw it earlier tonight with the Federal Reserve. They are running from the word recession. Let's go over what you need to know when we talk about recession, because this is very important, because this will gauge your understanding of what's happening with this economy for two years from now. First, a recession is an economic term. It does not have two definitions. It does not have five definitions. The President of the United States last Thursday knew that the, knew that the Department of Labor was going to announce a second quarter of negative GDP growth. So what did he do? He got out in front of the story and said, you know what, we're not in a recession. His definition, his own definition. I'm sorry, that's not the way it works. If you're a president of the United States, you don't get your own definition for, the, for an economic term. Then came Janet Yellen. Janet Yellen said, I'm not going to battle the definition of the word because that's semantics. I'll go over the economic data. Good. She said, let's look at the economic data. And she said, let's look at unemployment. Let's look at housing. Let's look at labor. And she said, broadly speaking, we don't see all the elements of a recession at the time of that broadcast, which was approximately July 28th. Here's why I believe her comments are the most confusing and need the most clarification for you tonight. A recession is not a one-day event. A recession is not a one-week, one-month, or one-quarter event either. A recession generally goes on for many, many months. In many cases, it goes on for two years. The last recession of this U.S. economy lasted two years. What happened? The East Coast went into the recession months before the West Coast. So the East Coast felt a recession when the West Coast didn't feel a recession. The East Coast came out of the recession nearly half a year before the West Coast came out. So to say that there was equally a recession at the same time across the country, you couldn't see it. Number two, we have certain industries that were feeling the recession very badly at that time and other parts that were not. Tonight, we see the same thing happening. And to say that something is really great because we don't see it everywhere, the recession has just started. Number one, you're not going to see the recession equally across all the United States at the same time. Number two, you're not going to see the recession in each industry all at the same time. We saw that on the earnings front. We saw Alphabet. We saw, uh, we saw Intel. We saw Microsoft miss among technology. And yet, we had Amazon and Apple beat dramatically. Yes, you don't see earnings recession equally dispersed even in the same industry, and certainly not the same time. Later this week, we'll get guidance on new earnings, but we already saw the big surprise last week when Walmart guided down for the rest of this year, and we thought that Amazon was going to miss because Walmart and Amazon, retail, retail, no, Walmart is reporting earnings in just a few days, and they're likely to be much weaker while Amazon actually beat. That shows you how a recession is not equally felt. Number three, labor does not manifest the problems of a recession instantly. We all know that, and, and it's very, very simple. Why? It starts with the employer feeling a pinch, and that pinch is the bottom line. So what do they do? They start to progressively lay off. Then they realize they have to lay off more. Then they store clothes. Then they have a hiring freeze. So labor doesn't initially manifest everything of a recession. 
even though 260,000 new jobless claims, folks, is clearly not a robust economy. The takeaway tonight is the following. Number one, do not say there's not a recession because you see it on one part of the United States, but on the other side. Do not say there's not a recession because you see bad numbers in retail, but great numbers in transportation, leisure, automotive, and the credit card. Do not say it's not a recession if you see the labor numbers weak, but not as weak as you thought. And do not say it's not a recession because you're looking at just two weeks of data in the month of July or August. That's what's important to know. Why? Because you have to be ahead of the game. You have to be ahead of the money. You have to be ahead of the trend. I was the first American broadcaster to report that inflation was coming later that year in 2021. Said in the spring of 2021, I said 8%, and I said it was going to be pronounced and continual, not temporary, transitory, as the Federal Reserve had said, and not that ridiculous 2 3 4%. Next, in early 2022, the Federal Reserve said he's getting inflation down to 2%. I said he's never going to get it down to 2%. Now, most analysts now agree. Number three, I said the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates to lower inflation, and yet it was not going to work because inflation is being caused by gasoline prices and supply chain disruption. Tonight, Inflation has not come down at all, despite the raises from the Federal Reserve. Ultimately, the reason why this community, the Purple Power community, you and I win and work so well is because we deal with the data. The data doesn't lie. We can look at the labor. We can look at the inflation. We can look at the housing. We can look at the corporate earnings. And then ultimately, we can make our own analysis. You and I may disagree on analysis, but we don't disagree upon the data. When the White House had Janet Yellen say that 260,000 new jobless claims per week is really great, the best labor market of, this, of a generation. No, that's the worst number of 2022. It's the worst number since middle 2020. To say that wage growth is really still going up, as the Fed governor uh, from Minneapolis said overnight, that's also not true. Wage growth is below, is not catch, is not keeping up with inflation. That's why people are feeling the punch at, at the stores. Ultimately, if we all understand the correct, inf the correct data, we can get it right. And that's why you're getting it right. What do you need to do? And tell your friends and family, come on over. This is LA. We're expanding very quickly, very dramatically, because everything is correct here when it comes to data. You can't fudge data. <laughs> you can't fudge data. You can analyze data differently, but it's a big week upon us. And that's why you want to stay with LA for the breaking news throughout the night. Evenings LA continues with 5 o'clock going into 6 o'clock with, with Countdown. At 7 o'clock is Street and Stimulus. 7 o'clock is Extra. 9 o'clock is Sunset. And then the programming continues throughout the night. I'll be jumping in the live chat and give you any corporate earnings that are coming in throughout the night. The trigger will update as the latest stock quotes are released. We'll have the latest details on housing market, unemployment, and stimulus throughout the week. Stay here for LA for more. It's a big week, and we're just getting started. The breaking news never ends and never stops. Go under this video, become a member. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Have a beautiful night. Stay cool, stay warm, and stay with LA for more.